Hi friends, it's Mr. Colby, and today we're going to be learning the note D. Now if you remember from last time, this is what E looked like. D is just adding your finger over both holes here. There's a really tiny one, and then there's one right next to it. Put your finger over both of those, and act as if it's just one hole. And that gives you the note D, and the note D should sound like this. I'll give you a second to practice that, and I'll play it one more time just in case. Alrighty. So, the song we're going to be learning to get used to the note D is called Sing It Loud. Now, I find this very funny because we're not singing, <laughs> we're playing the recorder. Uh, but this song has two new things for us today. It has one thing that's pretty old, but still kind of tricky, the breath mark. It's after the first half note, and I'm not going to tell you where it is, because I want to see if you can catch on to that. But Sing It Loud has a uh, time signature change. A time signature shows how many notes are in the phrase, or in the measure, or whatever you want to call it. So this bar right here, that's a measure or a phrase. And then the other weird, all right, whoa, whoa, hold on, I just skipped a whole thing. So this, we're used to seeing this as 4-4, four, four, meaning there are four quarter notes in one measure. But since it's only 3-4, there's only three quarter notes in each measure. Now this doesn't change that much, but instead of counting to 1, 2, 3, 4, you would just count to 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Not too bad of a difference, not too big. It should be okay. And if you if it is too big of a difference, that's okay too. Everyone learns differently. But the other thing that's very strange or new to us, there's only one note here. But there's up to three notes, three quarter notes of each measure and the rest. This is called a pickup measure. Now, a pickup measure is where it's a note that goes into the music. Just one singular note that goes straight into the music. So it's not huge, it's not you need to hold this or oh this is very important. It's just one note that starts off this whole piece. So I'll play it once, or well I should probably say what the notes are. This song involves the notes D, can you see that? Okay, D, G, A, and B. I'll do it one more time. D, G, A, and B. And in case some of you forgot, keep your thumb on the thumb hole. And before I start playing to show what it should sound like, how was everyone's Thanksgiving? I would really like to know. And what is your favorite Thanksgiving meal? Mine is ham. Ham is delicious, especially with pineapple in it. Very delicious. But anyway, this is Sing It Loud. I'll play it once, and then we'll play it together. That's my bad. I played E instead of D. I'll do that one more time, I'm sorry. Okay, I did that right. Now right there is the breath mark. Instead of pausing like I did for that too, for that long for the breath mark, we're going to actually just, and then continue, just breathe, instead of just talking, because you shouldn't do that at a breath mark unless it's paused for that long and you're allowed to talk. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's play together. And, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Here we go. Just keep your 
eyes on my fingers if you need help with the notes. Now, one thing that I completely skimmed over was the last three notes. The da, da, da. Now, my fingers didn't move, but you could tell they were different notes. That's because uh, it's just the note G, but they're separated. Instead of having the tie, you know, the smiley face, they don't have the tie. So it's Da, da, da. And a thing you can do, well, most musicians do, uh, is called tonguing. Tonguing is where you use your tongue to like, ta, ta, to like separate the notes. So let's say I'm on B, or well, for the sake of this song, or what we're learning right now, D, I would go ta, 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 with my tongue, ta. So if any, everyone could do that three times, just so it's not super annoying for everybody, go ta, 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 ta. That's how you do it. So if I were to not ta, it would the last three notes would sound like that, sound like this, which just sounds like one long note. But because I tongued it, it sounded correctly, so it sounded like this. Now it's a little hard because you go ta whenever you say ta, but you want to keep your lips closed and go ta, ta. So just say ta with your mouth closed and then do that with your recorder. And that's how you separate those notes. Now the next thing we're going to learn is slurs. Slurs are where you slide the note, Con but they're also connected, you know? So just as I was saying, ties, they connect the notes. This is one of those situations where the tie connects the note, but it connects to a different note. So in this case, it connects A to G, but you don't breathe in between. You just... Keep playing and you only move your fingers. You don't breathe. Now you may notice this is in 2-4, which I don't remember if we did a song in 2-4, but that just means there's only two quarter notes each measure. So we're good. But once again, this song goes from A to B, A to B, A to B, and then half note B. I'll play it once and then we can all practice together. Now notice that I didn't breathe in between until the ties were off. That's how the slurs work. You breathe the entire tie and then you stop whenever the tide stops. So let's practice together. And that's how you do uh, slurs. Uh, and then the next song that involves both the note D and the slurs we just learned is called Long Ride Home. Now it's in 4-4, so thank goodness. <laughs> uh, and just like the last song, the breath mark is right after the first half note. Uh, so I'll play it once, and then we can all play it together. If you notice, uh, the slurs, my slurs and your slurs may not sound the same. 
That's because I'm doing this technique that I've been doing since I learned Tin Whistle, where I uh, imitate the slur with my finger. Now, you probably won't be able to do this, so for now, just... Just do that, and that's perfectly fine. That counts as a slur as well. So you're good. So now let's play it together. Remember, if you need help, keep your eyes on my fingers. Oh, my bad. I thought A was G for a second. I'll try that one more time, and then we can... We'll play together one more time, I'm sorry. home so if you need to practice in your car or you're going on a road trip for Christmas or you're going to visit someone for again Christmas or the holidays or uh, however you celebrate this holiday you can play that song if it's a long ride home or a long way to you can play that to practice your slurs and the new note D Anyways, I, ho I had fun, and I hope you had fun. Bye, friends.